time you depending on another life force for your life force, that's a form of vampirism. Stalking and me? All world religions is rooted in vampirism. That's why they always talk about blood and they gods need blood. The blood. Stalk me. To please the gods of these religions, something have to die, something got to bleed, there have to be a sacrifice. There wasn't this way back in the prehistoric world. There wasn't all of this madness. This only came on this new world order with these male pharaohs. And to get back on subject, again, these different mindsets of most of these villages was battled. Male dominance versus the way of the old world, which never failed us, why fix what ain't broken. Eventually, the way of the old world was overthrew. This ultimately led up to two states called Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. And what separated these two states was based on the mentality that I'm telling you. You had, at this time, based on all of these wars, no matter if you were saying, I want to stick to the way of the mother goddesses and the way of Ma'at with the old world. Or if you was over here on the side of the villages that were saying, no, it's time for the patriarch to rise and the males to get on the throne. It really didn't matter which side you were on when it came to the fact that all males were sort of ruling during this time now because war had taken place. Anytime war take place, Males assume the key roles because we're the warriors, all right? We engage into the wars. When that happens, there's already chaos. So in this prehistoric time, you had males leading these villages saying, no, we fight for our mother. We fight to keep the mothers and the way of the old world on the throne. And you had males leading their armies saying, hey, you know, it's time for us to, to take over. It's time for a new world order. It's time for a world where males rule and call the shots. And these male cults were secretly forming themselves even during the age of the goddesses. It's time for us to end this senseless violence, which creates deep pain in the hearts of all mothers and fathers. When the first said by OG. Stanley Tiki Williams speaking Swahili. Uprisings and disagreements came on the statuses between matriarch and patriarch during this prehistoric time. They had to already have to be meeting in secret. We're talking about prehistoric forms of Freemasonry right there, and your males hooking up in secret to go against the mothers. Just like they doing the day, your males hooking up in secret, and, and they got the Madonna and child worship. And they got the uh, divine feminine practice going on in the occult and everything, tapping into this mother goddess, the sciences that was taught in this prehistoric time by those oracles or those grandmothers, mother dear. You see Tyler Perry invoking this energy, mother dear, dressing up like the grandmother. See, when you look at the mother goddess, she's like a your, your heavy set grandmother with all the love. Okay, she got that kind of energy, that grandma mother energy. Venus, goddess. And that's what the connection we had with Mother Nature with the Earth. Upper Egypt, Lower Egypt, and I'm going to get into that deeper. And these were separated based on what I'm telling you. The way of the old world and the new world order. These were, so this is how Egypt was formed on chaos, all right, on Upper Egypt, Lower Egypt, based on these differences, based on these old world remnants that predated the unified Egypt. The unified Egypt is when the goddesses were finally compromised because even during the dynastic period, you got to keep something in mind. The first pharaoh that rose to power after all this chaos and these gender wars 
was Narmer or Mimi's. Think about that. All the comedic black countries community folks know, know that most of these pharaohs that's real, they have real names like Thutmosis, Akhenaten, Imhotep. These are real Egyptian African names. When you talk about Mimi's or Narmer, that's not African. It's fake. Norma is not an African name. That's a European name. But the first pharaoh of Egypt had a European name. And nobody in the black countries community stop and think about that. that That's part. because the first pharaoh, many years or Norma, didn't really exist. He's really just a forged pharaoh. They call him the scorpion king because this is a time period where they guess him. When you talk about the proto-dynastic period, that's a rough draft area during the time where we transition from prehistory to history. And what marks the beginning of history is the first pharaoh and the writing. Where we started the right thing, they said now this is where civilization began, but really this is where chaos began. They flipped everything. The world you live in ain't civilized. We live in chaos today, y'all. Civilization ended when Egypt started. And this is what a lot of black people going to crucify me for. But the way of the old world under the mother goddess is what in a primitive lifestyle, y'all. You're being deceived. Everybody was sovereign. You didn't need nobody ruling you. We was connected with the earth and we had respect for mama.